I had the uh, the wrong screen up the first time, unfortunately. So uh, we're gonna have to do this again. I guess I could say welcome back. Um, we're starting from the top then. Um, a little embarrassed that that happened, but it's not the end of the world. Just gonna start the game over from the top. Uh, should be good now though. Yep, by the looks of it. Actually, if I do this, move my screen down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that, that was extremely embarrassing. Thank you for pointing that out, Penguin. <laughs> if you didn't stop by and chat, I would have never known. So it's just going to go through the, the prologue again, which is no big deal. Um, game is laid out like a, a chapter book, so just run through it as fast as I can. We'll get back to where we were. It's a great game though. Try to go through and button mash this as fast as I can. I had the wrong window displaying on um, the stream setup. It seems to do that every time I start to stop the emulation. It puts the wrong one up. Anyways. This game does look really good with um, <laughs> this game does look really good with the HD texture pack I have enabled though. Um, much better than on original hardware because I have it pumped up to HD now. I know a while back on um, YouTube and Twitter Arlo was going on about trying to get this game remastered and released on the Switch would be X, which would be excellent. I definitely need to sign that petition or whatnot, but not that it's going to do anything. This game is absolutely fantastic though. Let's go ahead and run through here. Just the prologue, get back into town. There we go. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the older computers and whatnot had a lot of trouble running this game uh, in the emulator uh, because of the, the paper effects. It uses uh, bounding box simulation, which was very difficult to do on certain uh, graphics cards. But it works fantastic now because Dolphin is, which is the emulator I'm using, is so heavily optimized and whatnot. It's fantastic. Actually runs better on my computer than Minecraft does, which is kind of funny. Go ahead and save real fast, starting from the top obviously, but... Alright, here we go. You're gonna ambush her. Save her real fast and gain my first partner. All right. This guy's an easy boss to beat, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Yeah, yeah, it's run through here. Good hammer and stylish because I know the the timings for it. I don't know all of them, but um, I do know um, the ones from Mario, most of his hammer attacks and from most of the partners. I don't know all of Goombella's. I have a little bit of trouble with them. It's all right though, it's not too bad. Um, it's been years since I've played it. I don't even own a copy of GTA 5 uh, anymore, Penguin. been years since I've played that kind of game though. I'm not opposed to it, um, I just have to get it if I want to do it again. We'll see. Right, so I'm just going to escape from this and head on into the center of town. Come on. Run through the cutscene here. I have another uh, quick cutscene coming up. Then we gotta go through. There we go. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, some of the um, X knots, that's the name of the enemy there, some of them don't have the full HD texture displayed or the custom texture, so they look grainy around the edges. But everything else you could see in this scene here looks fantastic. It's scaled up perfectly. 
So when, when this finally gets on YouTube, I'm going to put a link down in the description to the HD texture pack because it's fantastic. Let's run through this. Now it's funny because there's two cutscenes going on in here at the same time. There's the one with, um, I can't think of his name, the old Toad talking to me, and then I have the one in the background with the mob hit there, and I, I can't actually move forward until that back one background is done. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and save up there in the back. Yeah, she officially joined my party now, so I'm gonna go through her abilities, but not only are they completely useless, but I'm just not, excuse me, gonna use them. All right. Oh, that that's done. That's kind of um, awkward that they have this in a, a child's game. I can't think of what they're called, but that's for um, capital punishment. There, <laughs> the hang the hang people. I let's grab the star piece here because I'm going to need them uh, later on. Buy some badges with them. There's a limited number in the game. A finite number, I should say, but I want to make sure I collect them all. He just stole half my coins. So I'm going to go beat him up and get him back real fast. Let's go do that. Should be hiding back here. And I think there's a star piece back here as well. Somewhere. Oh yeah, it's in his room here. Alright, getting my coins back. And the star piece, and let's head on out. Uh, yeah, there's no other star pieces back here except for on the top of that building, but I will get that soon. Let's head back this way. Let me grab the star piece that's back here. Uh, on top of these boxes back here, I think. Yep. You have the cockroach crawling around there, back there too. Normally you can barely see that, it's just a blur. It's nice with the texture pack. And here's the professor, I'm gonna run through this cutscene again, match the buttons as quickly as I can here. <laughs> Get through it. He can't even remember his name, senile old man. Come on. And he has no idea who he is, just like most of the older people in this game. Hey. Come on. They're just explaining about the whole the lore behind the game and the crystal stars, which I gotta which is the objective of the game, to find them all and whatnot. And unlock the treasure, so to speak. Alright, so let's head on out. Uh, no, there's no star piece there. Okay. So if I head back on out, he's gonna... Break the gate there. And then I think he goes to explain... Um, combat system before I go down the pipe. But I'm going to skip that. Yes, I do know about action commands. No, I don't want to go through it again. Hey, what's going on, Egg I thought there was a star piece there, I guess not. Let's head on down the pipe. Oops. I don't want to talk to him, I want to jump. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Head on this way and get this done. So it's another uh, mini-boss mini, uh, mini boss fight, if you will. Go ahead and take these guys out. <clears throat> Obviously by the, the battle mechanics, um, you can see that the spiny guy, which he's actually explaining, I won't be able to jump on him, but that's going to hurt me. Um, normally I prefer to use the hammer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap positions real fast. 
Because when attacking with the hammer, you can only attack the first enemy uh, in the set. But you can jump past the other ones, so... By using the hammer on the spiny guy, I don't get hurt and I can just knock him right out. There we go, and I'm gonna swap back. Swap back, because why not? And that's the stylish glance for that one. There we go, so I'm at 19 uh, star points now. <laughs> Let me grab my water. My other water. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, let's head on down. Just gotta go through this way. Perfect. And down the pipe. Normally I would have saved there, I just forgot. I have a compulsive habit of saving often in case something happens, I don't uh, lose progress or whatnot. Because uh, I think uh, if you die, you get game over and you start from the last save point in this game. You don't uh, just recover randomly. So I want to make sure I save often so I don't get uh, set back too far. Okay, oh, I got some coins, nice. Oh, all right, let's get this guy, let's knock him out. Uh, jump, yep. There we go. Now, this, this stylish thing is important. Uh, later on, once I unlock the special ability, it'll charge my uh, special bar and get the crowd going, which is uh, good for that. Come on. There we go, I got the mushroom. And I hit him at the same time, that's funny. Killing two birds with one stone, I guess. There we go, and I grabbed the mushroom. That was some decent timing there. Fire flower, good. Break these. And head on down. <coughs> Star piece back here, I think. Uh, yep. He runs away, and then these guys try to attack. I smack them before they hit me. And these guys have three health, whereas the Goombas have two. Go and this should now come right out. Perfect. There we go. Got him. He almost got me there. He almost hit me first. Good. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. So I prefer to hammer with Mario, it's my weapon of choice with him. If I can get the hammer man badge, which will disable jump but increase uh, the hammer power, I'm going for it. Yes, and I, I super blocked there, which means instead of just defending and taking less damage, I actually hurt him instead. The timing, vin the timing window uh, for that is much, much smaller than the just defending. I have to press B instead of A. Let's get on up. I'm gonna grab this key down here. Oh. Unfortunately, I missed. Let's try that again. There we go, black key. Alright, so now if I head up. Into the room here, there's going to be that chest, which is going to tell me to find the key. But I already have it. Use the key, unlock it, get cursed. So I can fold into a paper airplane and head on over to the door so I can get back to where I was. When I realized the stream was messed up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's run through this text real fast. Okay, so he's going to explain how to turn the airplane, press the Y button. I want to make sure I don't button mash too fast because otherwise I'll 
make him explain it more than once. Yes, I get it, it's terrible. I might return to normal, yeah, okay. I definitely will. It's funny. Excuse me, she complains about what that, what that guy's beef was, but I'm pretty sure if she was locked in a chest for a couple thousand years, she would behave the same way when she finally gets out. There we go. Alright, so now I'm in the room with the thousand year door. Nice little overview. Nice and ominous music, too. There we go. Alright, so there's a save block in the corner. I'm gonna hit that. And I think that's officially right back where I was. So that's perfect. Give or take. Alright. Head on up on the pedestal, he lifts up the map, and it gives me the location to the first 